Thank you, Jamie. My name is Björn Skog and uh, I'm a project manager and a preservation strategist at ES Solutions, as uh, Jamie mentioned. Uh, I will introduce to you very briefly the company ES Solution and in more detail our solution for long-term preservation as equal to ESSR. My colleague Andreas, who will present himself later on, will give you a live demo of the software components in ESSR. Though this presentation is something we do from time to time, but never before with such a fantastic global audience, we sincerely hope this will be of interest to you. We will use abbreviations, hopefully known to you, but if any buzzword is unused and you don't recognize, please comment on this. EA Solutions is a Swedish company located in Stockholm and Gothenburg. It was founded back in 2002 and we have since then been focused on e-archiving, information management and digital long-term preservation. One of our first assignments was an analyze of the Swedish National Archives present and future needs for archival storage. Since then, we have collaborated in many different aspects and challenges and it has been and is a really interesting issue to work with closely to Swedish National Archive. EA Solutions started as a company providing services and consultancy and over the years the company has evolved and today we have three business areas. One is consultancy, another is science and the third is ESSR which we will be focusing on during this webinar. As you can see, we have over the years balanced and combined consultancy with science and our end-to-end -end solution for digital long-term preservation named ESSR. ESSR was originally an output of collaborative ideas discussed with the Swedish National Archive. And after three years of evolving discussions and mutual development with them, we together in 2009 finally at ESSR up and running in production at three geographically separated location within the organization of the Swedish National Archive. Since then, we have improved and added more features to ESSR by refinement and further requirements from several organizations like the National Archive of Norway, KDRS, Sydarkivera, and recently the Church of Sweden. As consultants and project manager, we also managed e-archiving projects on a Swedish national level. And on behalf of the National Archive of Norway, we in 2013 were invited to participate in an upcoming project we addressed as eARC. And now, with a couple of years of hard work behind us, we finally can see some good results from the eARC family project, and there is more ahead of us. ESSR has also improved through the ER family project, but not the project only itself, but also through other clients' requirements. So let us put focus on the topic for today's webinar. ESSR is an end-to-end -end solution for digital long-term preservation and covers the complete archival workflow. It addresses e-archiving capabilities to individuals, organizations and systems. And of course, ESSR is based on OAS and PIMAS and extended with functionality to support pre ingest and management of archival collections, just to mention some of the extended functionality. ESSR can be used as a pre-archive or as an archive specifically for long-term preservation. Any kind of organization can benefit from this solution. If you're in the public sector or the private sector, if you're a national archive, library or museum, you can still benefit from ESSR. And we do have support for submission agreements, different kind of workflows, different kind of validators and converters, management of the archive and its collections and 
The solution is trustworthy since it is implemented into environments totally separated from internet and external networks. This means it operates in a dedicated networking environment with high security requirements and complex authorization mechanisms. And if you need to secure connectivity to ESSR, it has a REST API, a well-known interface, and it's really easy to use. ESSR is being continuously developed with a basis of Python, and the roadmap is also developed continuously with a high priority of development issues where sponsorship exists. And ESSR is truly an open source solution that enables you to start directly with your archival workflow and digital preservation and let you grow with the solution as you need changes. And ESSR has native support for specifications from EARC, Sweden and Norway. As we all know, specifications changes over time. They are adjusted, evolved, and sometimes merged with others or in fact replaced. Even though it would be great to see one version of a specification to last more than decades, we might and perhaps should expect more frequent changes. This requires some sort of version or generation management and our solution for specification version management are profiles. They are simply templates of specifications that enables version management. They also simplify the preparation of metadata in order to reduce the number of clicks in the graphical user interface as much as possible. Um, profiles should not be mistaken for generation management of IPs, where we use AICs for that purpose. As they've been doing at the National Archive of Norway the last seven years. After all, the use of specifications aims to facilitate and simplify exchange and preservation of content. I won't go through this diagram, don't worry, but this is presented to you to understand that we understand that a technical solution is just one piece of the information management puzzle. The technical solutions are important. It is supposed to be efficient and create different benefits. However, there are much more to be prepared for and there might be obvious challenges and some not as clear to everybody. But based on our experience, organizations are not equally prepared for digital long-term preservation. Their maturity differs. So what we always want to do is to early in the phases of an implementation, define and specify the life cycle perspectives and workflows. Just in order to simplify the upcoming configuration and adaptation. So this map is really good to start with in order to achieve a common ground of understanding who will do what, when and in what way, etc. And most important, the life cycle perspectives of information will open up discussions about responsibilities and ownership. Just to give you a quick overview of the capacity of ESSR, these are the figures from the Swedish National Archives on the 25th of March this year. They've had ESSR in production now for almost 11 years, and so far they managed to ingest and preserve this amount of data. As you can see, it turns out that most of the archival collections are small AIPs, less than 10 gigabytes and 1000 files. But since they continuously receive and ingest content into the archive, this will of course grow. So finally, I would like to round up my brief introduction to ES Solutions and ESSR and point out that we as a company has 17 years of experience, knowledge and competence within e-archiving, information management and digital long-term preservation. Our clients appreciate this. It simplifies a lot 
and makes it easier to move forward. Therefore, we are assigned over time as consultants for different kind of assignments, as you can see. And we truly believe it's important with sharing competence and expertise. And that's the reason why we really like the challenges the science area can provide, not to mention the ER family projects. I will now end this theoretical presentation. I'll let my colleague Andreas continue with a live demo of ESSR and its functionality. So I will hand over to you, Andreas, so that you can continue. Thank you very much. Bye.